Thank you, Council President Navarro. Really appreciate your efforts this year. I know it is a consuming job to be Council President through the budget process, and I really appreciate your work, as well as the work of all the Council staff and my staff and all the Council members. This is uh, always one of the most intense periods of the year and one of the most exciting. Uh, I am pleased with many elements of this budget. The fact that we are able to fully fund MCPS, I believe now this is the fourth year in a row that the MCPS budget request has been fully funded, uh, and that is really terrific news. We're continuing to make a lot of progress uh, with our schools and also fully funding uh, the college. And I am very grateful to the state. I think in this instance, the state's uh, uh, decisions enabling revenue to flow into the county made a huge positive impact for us you know, we couldn't have uh, secured the funding that we did without the, the good work of the state to make education a higher priority. So I really want to acknowledge those decisions that uh, played out in a very positive way for us here. I'm, um, and, I, and, I, and I share the view that the council's work to push very hard on education and to ensure that that request was fully funded was essential. Uh, I'm also very pleased with our step forward on early education. Uh, this is the third year in a row of a sizable investment in early education, millions of dollars added to our investments in pre-K and uh, childcare. And I think we're continuing a strategy of step-by-step -step working our way towards a much more expansive and ultimately universal program. And I'm really happy about that and I hope that the new structure that has been established will help promote consensus about how some of those uh, investments could be made and we'll be following that along closely. I'm really happy about Excel Beyond the Bell. Once, once again, we've added significant new Excel Beyond the Bell programs, uh, four programs, which now is the same amount that we were able to add each year in the last two years. Uh, that brings the Council's additions to eight new Excel Beyond the Bell programs in our most uh, challenged schools, schools with very high poverty uh, communities. Um, and I think that ex uh, expansion is really going to make a big difference. We also, for the first time, added Rec Extra programs targeting middle school. And there's a big gap in our, our out-of-school time program at the middle school age. And I'm really pleased we're beginning to, hopefully beginning to address that in an ongoing way. I really want to thank my colleagues for their support of the Skills for the Future Fund. I think that is a terrific initiative championed by many council members to leverage more funding to our nonprofits that provide STEM education and help to get this county's workforce uh, started at the youngest age and make this county the, the stronger economic powerhouse that we need to be. I, on the transportation side, I'm really happy that we were able to restore at least four of the seven routes that were uh, cut in the executive's recommended budget. Uh, I am disappointed that we did not find the funding to restore all seven of those bus routes, uh, taking service from 20 minutes to 15, uh, 15 minutes to 20 minutes is sure to lose riders on some of our busiest routes. And so uh, we have work to do there. I, I am disappointed in the recommendation but I'm pleased that my colleagues on the council did support uh, restoring at least four of those routes that we were able, uh, that were recommended for reductions in the executive's budget. And I am thrilled by the new investment in Kids Ride Free. I think that's gonna hopefully create a whole new generation of transit riders that will benefit the county for years to come. I wanna really thank my colleagues for supporting the capital budget on the BIPA program, the Bicycle Pedestrian Priority Areas. We, that, that program was recommended for significant reductions in the executive's capital budget. The council restored them. There's gonna be some terrific projects moving ahead in Wheaton, in uh, Long Branch, in Purple Line areas, in the Veers Mill, Randolph, uh, some of our older areas in the county that were perhaps designed as suburban and have really become urban and need new treatments in order to promote safety. Uh, so I really want to recognize that, as well as the re rest restoration of funding for the metro entrances. I think that is uh, moving in exactly the right direction, and 
um, it doesn't appear that there is really ever much to the hope that the Metro Board would step in and fund our metro stations, and we really do need to step up and have the best metro infrastructure in this county. Um, the climate initiative, I really want to thank my colleagues for supporting 400,000 to begin a comprehensive climate planning uh, strategy. We, we had wanted to have 800,000 for this initiative. We originally had uh, been told by the executive branch that they had secured 400,000 and then that was um, removed for a savings plan and uh, unfortunately we just didn't have the funding to add that portion back but uh, I, I do think we'll get a great start with the 400,000 that we've added and uh, on the park side I really want to thank Council Member Friedson for his relentless uh, leadership on park funding. I don't think we would have the outcome that we have today fully funding the critical investments we need in parks without uh, Mr. Friedson's uh, strong advocacy. Uh, last comment I want to make, I, I do feel that we have a, um, an underlying challenge that we're going to need to address. We have a structural deficit in the county. We've had one for several years now. It's not a new phenomenon, uh, but we do need to really tackle that head on and uh, council has uh, expressed a view that this year we are we're going to really try to make some changes there council president for example uh, highlighted the need that we've talked about around right sizing um, we, we we have a underlying challenge in this budget when in that fy20 expenditures are are funded with fy19 uh, revenues and um, this has been going on for several years so we really do need as a county, as an executive branch, council branch working together, need to uh, tackle that and make some changes. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but I think we've made a good step forward and I'm really grateful to the support of my colleagues, certainly for the initiatives that were of greatest uh, interest to me. Thank you.